Okay, now I'm back on the design that does not say mock-up, that original design that we had uh, that's in all glitter. And I'm still going to show you how to take a screenshot of this design. It's rather easy using, um, if you're using a Windows machine at least, which is what we have in our um, computer lab, those um, machines already have the snipping tool loaded into um, Windows. So if you search for snip, you'll find the snipping tool. And when the snipping tool opens and you choose new, you can then draw a box around your design. And then that'll allow you to then save that design as a JPEG or a PNG or GIF, etc. So we'll go ahead and we'll save it as, um, actually I'm going to have you save it as a PNG because PNGs take transparency and we're going to want to allow this to have transparency here in a moment. So I'm going to save this now as welcome back design. It's not a mock-up right now, it's the design. And so I'm going to save it as a welcome back design as a PNG. And then I'm going to go ahead and close the snipping tool. Now that I have that saved though as a PNG, I'm going to want to do something with it. Now something that we have available to us in the computer lab, um, other people may or may not have it available to them at their homes, is the Adobe Photoshop elements and I have Adobe Photoshop elements 12 on my computer I think there might be Adobe Photoshop elements 11 on the machines in the computer lab but I'm just going to choose photo editor there are other programs that allow you to do similar things to the um, to this maybe even programs that are available online and as Photoshop opens what we're going to do is after it opens we're going to simply get that screenshot that we just saved so I'm going to come in here into my tribal trends folder which is the location in which I saved that fold file and I'm going to find my screenshot now many of you already know this about me what I think is easier for us to do is to order them um, by date or even to select a date and it looks like for whatever reason I didn't save this to the tribal oh there it is okay I don't know why it wasn't coming up all right so now I found my JPEG and I'm going to drag it into Photoshop that's simply I'm going to choose the magic eraser tool if you click on the eraser and it's not already selected as magic eraser you can choose the one with the yellow star and then you're going to come in and you're going to just click on the white background to make that transparent. And I can control plus to zoom in on this. And I also want to make it transparent in between the letters. Now this is a relatively easy design to do this with. And ideally, if we have another version of the Silhouette software, we're able to just save our JPEG. But since we can't, um, we're going to use this method. Now that I have my image with a transparent background, I'm going to press Control S, that's the shortcut to save, and I'm going to save that background and say, or that design with the transparent background, and I'm going to go ahead and say replace because I don't really need the one with the white background. Then I'm going to go and find that same shirt that we used earlier in the other example and I'm going to drag it into Photoshop and the way this particular Photoshop elements works is it opens it as a separate tab so what I can do is then go down to the photo bin and drag the welcome back design up onto my shirt and then I can resize it now it may look a little bit pixely it may not be perfect but this is just for the purpose of giving our customer an idea of what this would look like on the shirt so we have now a cutout design that is in um, studio I mean in the silhouette studio and um, I call that just our cutout design or cutout file and then we have our design file which is that PNG we saved and now we're going to have a mock-up and the mock-up is actually having that design placed on a shirt. So now I've put 
the welcome back on the shirt, you want to keep in mind how you're actually going to print it on the shirt. Like if the nine inches isn't going to go all the way to the armpits like this, you're going to want to readjust it to be approximate to what it would really look like if you're placing this on the shirt as best as you can. So now I have my design. I can then go to File, Save As, and then save this PSD file as a JPEG. Now, I simply have you guys save these as JPEGs because I'm no longer taking into account that transparent background for this particular um, type of image. And I'm also wanting you guys to be able to distinguish between which ones are the designs and which ones are the mock-ups. So this is no longer a red, gray, raglan blank shirt, but the welcome back mock-up JPEG okay and I'm going to make sure I'm paying attention to what folder I'm saving that in and then I'm saving it I'm going to go ahead and keep all the other um, defaults the same high quality a larger file because we want it to translate well to our um, end user depending on how we use this and now we have a mock-up of our design